Welcome to How to Heroics by Dax. Different names, same guy, same instructional videos. I just recently got back, so I'm going to start things off by doing the three dungeons they released while I was gone. Starting with Forge of Souls. Forge of Souls is a pretty short dungeon, only two bosses. The first two mobs you come across are giant skeletons that are physical damage, and uh, when they start to get low health, they will put magic reflection bubbles on themselves, so watch out for that so your casters don't nuke themselves. Then we get into these uh, groups of four or five mobs. This one didn't have the shade that teleports around, but they're basically the same thing. Uh, the uh, future ones will have the shades in there as well. But basically, uh, tanks and healers, uh, tanks don't feel bad because there will be random DPS going around, random shadow bolts and other castables being thrown at your DPS and healer. It's not a threat issue, it's just how they work. Healers, be ready to throw some heals around the group because they will be taking damage as the tank will not be soaking at all. When we get to uh, the groups with the shades, like this one, uh, the shades, I usually just try to ignore them for the most part, get some initial aggro on them because they actually are you know, tanked for the most part, but they will randomly teleport around and uh, backstab your group. In addition to the random damage that the casters throw around, there is a life drain that's the most dangerous. It heals and does a lot of damage at the same time, as well as a dot that will slow all actions by 60%, and if left for too long, will stun you for several seconds. So try to remove that if you can. The first boss, Caster Bron Jam, is a two-phase fight. The first phase, he will randomly drain someone's soul and attempt to get that soul back to himself to heal himself. The way to avoid this is, when you see the purple beam on you, run away and then kill the soul before it gets back to him. As you saw in this video, twice it got back to him and healed him for a large amount. Once he gets down low enough, he will start doing a magic whirlwind and randomly fear people into it. It slows him down and does less damage. If you're the healer, just try to survive it. If you're not the healer, Keep those people alive to get feared into the shade, into the whirlwind. Now at this point, for whatever reason, uh, someone decided to leave. Now I gotta say, since I've been gone and I just got back, uh, I love the new dungeon queue system. It's uh, quite fantastic. So we quickly got another DPS and continued on. After two more of the skeleton mobs, uh, you've got the uh, last type of mob you'll see in here is the giant shade mob. And uh, they basically will put a healing debuff on random people. It, I believe it stacks, and it can eventually reduce healing uh, past 100%. Uh, so how to remove it, it's a magic effect. It also does uh, steady shadow AoE damage to the whole group, so get ready to heal through that. And now we're at the second and final boss, the Devourer of Souls. This boss has several pretty nasty abilities. One of them is called Mirrored Soul, which he cast on me first off in this fight, and uh, all the damage has done to him is also transferred to... The person he is currently uh, linked to with Mirrored Souls, so try to stop DPS whenever you see him doing that. When he unleashes souls, it's just a whole bunch of phantasms that will randomly run around and attack everyone. You can't do anything to him, so just heal through it and try to ignore him. The, uh, he also drops a purple cloud of crap on the ground. Don't stand in it. He, he will randomly jump around, and when he does that, he's usually dropping purple crap also. The biggest and worst ability he does is a steady beam of powerful energy that will destroy you if you stand in it for too many seconds, just like it did the tank and one of the DPS. But luckily, a quick battle res and uh, some heavy heals on the rogue, and we had this boss down. So avoid the purple beam. Do not stand in the purple stuff. Do not hit him when he does mirror soul, and this boss is done. Yeah. 